Uh, Stuart Mika, let's start with the state of this game. Um, some big wickets at the end there, which are keeping us alive, really. Yeah, I mean, look, they played really well. To, you know, credit to their two openers, Alex Davies, Chalice's arm, and it came off. Uh, you know, if he had nicked off early, it might have a bit of a different complexion to the game, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but it just shows that you know, a couple of wickets here and there, and the scoreboard changes very quickly. It's exactly what happened first innings with them. They were 92 for none, and then suddenly they were 238 all out. So we're not out of uh, you know the hunt in this game, and, and hopefully you know, the pitch starts to turn a little bit more come day four. Um, but yeah, it's going to be tough. It's gonna, you know, and they've got obviously all their experienced players still to come and, and lower down the order. But we'll see. Crucially, you got the wicket of Davies, um, and we saw off that you know the run rate slowing right down. I guess this isn't this still isn't an easy bat, a pitch to to bat on. They're going to have to work hard for those runs. Yeah, all the way through the game, it's 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 just offered something. There's been plenty there. Uh, they've had their heavy roller now, um, and you would hope that come tomorrow morning that just livens it up um, uh, for the rest of the, the, the morning. Um, it is tough batting, you could see from the way that, that I guess uh, we got knocked over in, the, in our second innings, um, even though I suppose they did bowl quite well. But it, if we put it in the right areas and we create a little bit of pressure, that 134 that they need for the rest of the game, it's going to look that little bit further away. Uh, let's go back to the start of the day where um, you picked up two more wickets. Um, really good spell last night where you, where you, where you got Wells um, and then probably were a bit unlucky not to get a couple more. Came back this morning, cleaned up the tail. Uh, you know, that must have felt like a bit of a reward for the way you bowled last night and this morning. Yeah, it's, it's been a little bit different, uh, my role this game, I suppose, than it has done throughout my career. Um, you know, I think having two young bowlers coming in and opening the bowling, uh, we didn't quite know what we were going to get. Uh, thankfully, they bowled, I thought, brilliantly, and they didn't look out of sorts at all. Um, and I just, I just said to myself, look, just come on and try and keep it as tight as you possibly can. Don't go for many runs and the skipper will bring you back on. And it just, it's exactly what ended up happening. You know, bowled well, got the vital wicket of, uh, of Wellesley last night. I think the boys are quite happy about that. And, uh, and then ended up picking, picking another two up uh, this morning and knocking over the tail. It's, it's what I've done pretty well all the way throughout my career. Um, and I was just happy to continue to do that this morning. You've not had much luck since since joining Sussex, but do you feel you know four wickets in this game that things are starting to maybe turn for you? I hope so. I'm working hard enough uh, to make that that be the case. Um, yeah, look, I, I think the, the wicket column hasn't necessarily reflected. I feel how well I've bowled in some of these games. You know, I've not not gone for a lot of runs and I've, I've kept the scoreboard dry. Done jobs for the team that you know have been quite tough asks. Um, but that'll come. I, I'm not. I'm not concerned about that. It's you know whatever job I need to do for the team and whatever job the team need me to do, that then I will help facilitate that. And if it means I need to keep things dry, then I keep things dry. If it means that I need to come and try and blast a few out, then that's exactly what I'm going to try and do. The wickets will come. Um, it, obviously, uh, I would have loved to have a, a Ollie Robinson style temper in there somewhere, but you know. Um, That'll come. And I guess, you know, you hear people talking about teams bowling as a unit. Actually, if, if you know that you've played your part in bowling dry and someone else has picked up the wickets, then presumably you're being, you know, you know and you're being, you're being congratulated for the role you're, played, you're playing there. Yeah, that's exactly it. You know, it's, it swings in roundabouts whoever gets wickets in this game. Um, you know, always talk about bowling and partnerships. Uh, when you've got someone like Ollie on your side, that's it's fantastic. So you know he's always going to be a threat um, with taking wickets. But as so long as the team can can do their job around him, uh, then then that's fantastic. In a game like this where we're missing him, uh, the, the wickets are going to get shared about. But as so long as we create a little bit of pressure, we we make it hard to score any runs. Um, you don't need to go chasing the wickets. The wickets will come to you, and that's what I felt we did in the first innings. Finally, you, you know, you've played a lot of cricket. This is your 200th um, professional appearance. Uh, this group of young bowlers that you're kind of mentoring or help mentoring uh, at the moment at Sussex, you know, people are very excited about them. Are they right to be? Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, um, 
I bowled a lot with Crocombe and Jamie Atkins in, in, the, in the bubble, in the, in the marquee in, in the winter. And they're fantastic prospects. You know, they'll be a bit nervous. Uh, so Jamie would be his first game, but I think he's bowled brilliantly, you know, and um, he'll, he'll start settling into a little bit more of, of, of a comfortable role within the side. Uh, he'll learn his game more and more as he gets older. He's still very raw. Uh, and Crocombe is, is exactly the same, you know, Crocombe has played obviously a few more, um, but they're both brilliant bowlers in their own right, and they've got a, a very good career ahead of them. It's just really nice to sort of be a part of that and help them, up, help them out as much as possible. And um, in the spin department, the boy Carson, he's, he's exciting. Uh, it's fantastic to see such a young spinner play such an important role in a team. Um, you know, I think without him, the, would we have been in the same position in a lot of the games that we've played? Um, and, and in all honesty, I don't think these pitches have, have quite started to turn as much as they, sh they, they will do, which obviously will bring him in into um, his own as, as the season goes. So I think he's a really exciting prospect. I don't want him to get too exciting too quickly because then we might miss him. Um, but, uh, you know, definitely watch out for him. He's, he's, he's a very good talent. Finally, you, you've spoken about bowling dry, not going searching for wickets, even with the, you know, the scoreboard the way it is, is that still the plan tomorrow? Absolutely, uh, you know, Davies obviously chances are, I mean, they were always going to, uh, you know, go for, for um, if we were going to go for a few runs with someone who was going to play like that. Uh, quite lucky we obviously got him out, um, but in, in totals like this, even when there's a small, uh, you know, amount of runs still to get, you can make that seem very, very far away. And the pitch is doing enough that if you put, all, you put enough balls in the right area, you, you're going to get your wickets. It's just making sure that we don't go for too many runs in the meantime. And whatever happens, you know, a, a really young side like this going toe-to-toe -to -toe with an experienced, uh, hotly tipped side like Lancashire, loads of positives to take. Yeah, I, I, look, I'll, I'll even go further than that. It's not just toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Even in the Yorkshire game as well, you look at how many internationals they had had on their side. We were actually in, in winning positions in, in, in both of these games. And obviously, we can still win tomorrow. Um, but we've been leading from the front with such a young side. And obviously, if we keep developing and, and becoming a bit more ruthless in certain, at certain times throughout the game, those, these tight games will become easy wins. And it's just, we've got to just keep growing and keep developing and, and being a little bit more ruthless with our skills. Great to see you in the wickets. Let's hope for some more tomorrow. Cheers.